nuclear power plants as a source of clean energy are on the rise. Watch this! This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. So if you don't want to miss any of our new videos, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon. Nuclear power provides almost 15% of the world's electricity. And now in this video, you will see how many countries in the world are already embracing the importance of using nuclear energy as a good source of clean energy. And since we don't want to waste any more of your time, let's proceed to our number one. Number one is China-Europe Nuclear Power Corporation bears fruit for a cleaner energy. third-generation nuclear power unit of a joint venture between China and France in China's Guangdong province has been unveiled for commercial use. The unit at Taishan Nuclear Power Plant is the first in the world to adopt the European Pressurized Reactor, a third-generation nuclear power solution. Supplied by French conglomerate Framatome, the double wall containment design for Taishan EPR units can protect reactors from catastrophes, including earthquakes and a direct strike from an airplane. Number two is China's self-made nuclear power plant control system put into operation. China's homemade and self-designed digital control system for nuclear power plants was put into operation at the number 5 unit of Yangjiang Nuclear Power Plant in South China's Guangdong Province, making China the fourth country to independently master the technology after the United States, France, and Japan. The DCS or HEMU system controls more than 260 systems in a nuclear power plant. The running of nearly 10,000 pieces of equipment and all sorts of processes and is seen as the nuclear plant's nerve center. Number three is inside the world's cleanest power plant in China. China is notorious for its air pollution, but it also boasts the world's cleanest, most efficient power plant in Shanghai. And it does so by burning the dirtiest of all fossil fuels, coal. Can one really turn coal clean? You better take a look at this. Number four is 
Russia launched floating nuclear power academic Lomonosov. A huge vessel, the world's only floating nuclear power plant, has left its dock in the Russian port of Murmansk and is on its way to the Arctic town of Quebec despite opposition from environmental groups. The 144-meter-long and 30-meter-wide vessel named the Academic Lomonosov after the 80th century Russian scientist houses two nuclear reactors. Number 5 is UAE Nuclear Power Plant Projects The first of the four nuclear reactors built by Korean coalition in the United Arab Emirates will start to be fueled. The reactor's commercial operation is bound to transformation the UAE's power supply structure, which used to rely on thermal power generation. Prior to the momentous occasion, Korea and the UAE held a high-level meeting in Abu Dhabi. Number 6 is World's First Third Generation EPR Nuclear Power Unit The World's First Third generation nuclear power unit of a China France joint venture has been completed in Taishan City, South China's Guangdong Province, according to a statement from China Guangdong Nuclear Power Company. Number 7 is, the world can possibly obtain clean nuclear energy by 2025. Being built by the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in Marseille with support of UK engineers. When switched on, it will fuse together hydrogen atoms, releasing immense amounts of carbon-free energy in the process. And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.